Man, I suck at uploading. But all that's finna change. Hey, coming back at you with another video. Building Drills, Episode 3, Playground Edition. Don't mind the dog in the back. It's a nuisance. You don't want to know about her. But she's pretty adorable. Alright, so getting straight to the point with it. This contraption that we got in front of us here today is called the box. Now, alright, so let's visualize this scenario. Say you got out of a great build battle with another person, you're already on a 10 to 15 kill game, so you know that this is your moment to get that gameplay. Now you barely survive getting tagged by the storm or even barely living from your previous engagement with just a little HP, but you end up making it out just in time. So you end up making a little box just to heal yourself like you normally do, you cover yourself just to heal before you start going on your next journey when the worst possible outcome happens. Someone was watching you from afar and stalking you almost like prey and immediately pounce on the situation to get the easy kill which he ends up getting now you're already back at the lobby swearing your heart away discouraged and defeated so after even hearing this and probably even having this happen to you how do you feel right now angry disgusted helpless now i don't know about you but when i hear somebody is starting to get the high ground above my box or even shoots rockets at my little box my adrenaline starts to kick in the overdrive i mean let's just face it Knowing how grave the situation is and how to play it is always key in winning that fight. Whether it be you calming your nerves and play at a methodical pace just to outplay your opponent, or panicking as he slowly tags you as you try and run away or even bleeding your material away. We are here now to address this and overcome it. And if you still don't get the picture, even the slightest, you can always look up Ninja and TSM Daquan when they actually first fought. Now Ninja actually started with the low ground against Day. This fight I think off the top of my head it lasted at least four minutes which is a pretty long fight if not then you can say it in the comment section below but other than that they both fought in different situations with they having high ground they both end up having the same ground until switch roles even almost and then they actually fought to the high ground itself which ended up having ninja beating daquan with a slight high ground advantage and peak advantage to get the snipe off one day now the setup as you will see will go like this you'll have one poor soul that starts in the box you have four walls, a flat and a pyramid, with whether it be low materials, uh, low health, some guns, not even reloaded, uh, anything to your heart desire. Now the other side, since already having the high ground, will have the best advantage, since you will have the power to choose the madness, the method of the madness itself. So either you can have an RPG, LMG, health full, all of the above, only explosives. It's really up to you guys, but in the end, the high person with the high ground will have the he say, she say. So the whole point is not tell the person who's in the box because they have to figure it out. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I would recommend the person building up before shooting down uh, to have the distance somewhat reasonable before you start. So it simulates, you know, like a real in-game experience. Now, when you're doing these methods, so always try and, you know, find something to critique the other person about or not like too harshly. But then again, vice versa, have them critique what you're doing. So both of you can see what you have to work on and becoming better duo partners or even squad members, if that's the case. All right, now getting straight into the second method. I like to call this my high ground now, or you can say Anakin versus Obi-Wan, seize the day, base defense, you name it, it's up to you guys. Now this is gonna be almost like a flip of the role almost, but except the person, it, it you'll see what I'm saying in a minute. But anyway, this will be a chance for the high ground person to get better at defending their base while the other is working on aggressive tactics to take out the high ground person. This can be equal in terms of fighting, but it can be easily influenced to be tailored to the other side, hence giving that the aggressor can have an RPG, LMG, grenade, launcher, um, grenades in general, E-Tick, whereas the roles can be switched and the high ground person could have these instead. So depending on, I, I would say on this uh, note before you even start, have both sides discuss who will do what, but again, the weapons, don't tell anybody that. It's up to the person to react and put down the aggressor accordingly all right so now you want to you want to think of it this way so you've been pushed out of your own base only escape the other person in the top five of the solo hence this personally happened to me um once you, you know you get pushed out of your your you old story base you fight them you get the kill and now coming on to another three story base that's already in the circle the person is already seeing you as an opportunity as a whole and starts taking shots at you now due to the insecurities when i first started even building in this game or even when the pressure was on 
you kind of blank out when you're pushing causing you to make irrational decisions you start throwing out pyramids you start not knowing what to do you turtle up and you quickly end up bleeding through mats to protect yourself only to get melted by the opposition you have to always have and i can't stress this you have to be confident in your pushes if you're going to be aggressive only then will you even have you know even the playing uh, field or get the high ground against the other person it's always a mind game folks it's always a mind game all right so some common questions you can probably ask yourself before you even start is uh say if you're trying to master the double ramp then if you never actually use an end game or you always struggle then you can always do the the high ground method and then have the person whoever is um already in the tower to start pressuring you as soon as you start doing your double ramp or um say if you always fall under pressure when um you have the low ground or the other person has the high ground or just really just lmg in you or doing whatever then you can try and use this to have the you know expose yourself to the the great stress of the situation okay so coming off of this gameplay after the, seeing solid the way he pushes it's almost like he has the aggression to go but he doesn't do the double ramp or anything and plus he ends up wasting some of the mats so you can do these four panels and then it goes in a rear direction and then once the pressure is on it, he just drops it and goes straight below so it's it's more of like a having a better approach to it but even as he still you know failed his initial push he still re-engages the me to keep trying to get the high ground so he eventually as you can see he starts going around and keeps attacking from different um positions so you always don't want to just sit there because in the end he can end up building down or you never know if he has an rpg or plus you can have somebody else fight him if you get lucky enough but then it's always good to keep pushing to try and get the high ground or even take down the person in this fort in general but even as the fight continues you always got to keep in mind that your mats always matter in the end depending on who has the most so you always want to I guess in a way plan on the go so you won't end up wasting your mats but I would say if you're going to end up bleeding mats is if you're getting caught with fire but in the end no one's going to be perfect on what push they do and if you end up being perfect then try and you know expose yourself to different situations but other than that always critique whoever you're playing with and trying these methods to see what they can do better or what you should have done better or vice versa just always give each other feedback and um if you reach this far just um give me some comments in the comment section below about the playground mode as uh, i think it's way better than what they've done earlier you can actually end up doing you know legit scrims and switching teams and size and uh yeah the upgrades are overall great they should maybe even add like some notes or modification like halo 3's uh founder mode when it first came out how you can select respawn thing times of everything but i mean if it's too much to ask for it then i mean by all means it's just an opinion but uh yeah this is gonna be the end of the video uh, be sure to give a like favor subscribe it's your boy a godly stay godlike